How can meditation heal abuse? Did you know meditation can help to heal emotional and psychological abuse? In this video I'm going to share with you five ways that meditation can make a major impact on your healing journey from abuse. Please pop down below and subscribe if you are not already and hit that like button so that YouTube will inform you when I produce another video on this theme and it will share it out to people who might need to hear this information as well. Number one, meditation can reverse the effects of stress. People who've been abused are often diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder. This means that they never fully relax, always on the lookout for danger. I remember this was me. I used to have a tightness in my shoulders, a tense feeling in my stomach, and I could never relax and enjoy myself. And what happens when a person is in a state of stress, even a low level state of stress, is that the blood flow in the body is directed towards the muscles that are required to fight or run away from a danger, the fight and flight response. When a person has been experiencing the effects for a prolonged period of time, it can lead to illnesses like autoimmune disorders, heart disease, rheumatoid arthritis. In fact, Dr. Joe Dispenza, an expert in this field, says that 85% of illnesses that show up in a doctor's office are the result of stress. That's a huge amount, isn't it? So it's great that you're listening to this information now and you can do something about it. When a person is relaxed, it switches on a whole new different type of nervous system called the parasympathetic nervous system. This system causes blood to flow to the heart, to the organs of digestion, and to the areas that are responsible for healing damaged cells and tissue in the body. When a person has been tense for a long time, it can be easy to have minor tears in a muscle if you slip or pick up something too heavy. So those injuries need to be repaired and when you're relaxed during and after a meditation, the body can get in and repair that area. Another thing that happens during meditation is the body releases good feeling hormones called endorphins and dopamine. And the effect of these hormones can last for two hours or more after doing a meditation. So this healing effect and the reversal of the effects of stress can last for two hours or more after a meditation. Meditation helps you see life in a whole new way. If you have been wanting to hide out, stay at home where you're safe. Meditation will help you want to step out and try new things. When you've been doing it for a few days or a couple of weeks, produces that feel good feeling because of those hormones, endorphins and dopamine. In the phase of time after a meditation, it's the time when we feel more normal. It's natural for a human to want to explore and experience new things. That is our natural nature. It's one of the reasons we came here. 
was to explore and experience many different things in our life. So after a meditation, confidence levels go up and we feel more that we want to try new things and we begin to explore. This will happen in time. Meditation helps you love yourself. One of the most damaging outcomes of being abused on the victim is that they lose the ability to love themselves. They're either taught that they're not lovable or else they feel like they should have been able to protect themselves and that they're bad for allowing themselves to be abused. It's a very complex set of mind programming that occurs. Now meditation, because of those hormones, you should be able to tell me the endorphins and the dopamine help a person to feel good during and after meditation. When people don't love themselves, they tend to gravitate towards people who reflect that back to them. So they're more likely to be drawn into relationships with more abusers. The most important thing we can do on our healing journey is to learn to love ourselves. When you meditate every day for a few days, three days, four days or more, you will gain a sense of accomplishment and this helps you feel good about yourself and that will help you commit to continuing your meditation and because of those feel-good hormones dopamines and endorphins the more the self-love grows and if you actively take the time to love yourself to do good things for yourself to let go of the things that you know could harm yourself then the love for yourself is going to grow. It's much easier to do this when you are feeling good all over. So the ideal time to do your self-loving is after a meditation and start the dialogue of self-love. Meditation can help you overcome your addictions. It's common for people who've been abused to find ways to numb out the pain. Addictions are very easy tools and we have the obvious ones like drinking, smoking, substance abuse, but there is also internet addiction social media addiction, even food addictions, eating disorders. After a meditation, the feeling that you will feel is so good that the addictions just don't come anywhere close to that feeling. It's a very healthy thing to do for yourself. So if you find yourself doing it four or five times a day, that's fine. I was able to quit my addictions after meditating over a period of time. It was easy. I had tried over a hundred times to quit smoking and I had failed over a hundred times. But with meditating and of course with the progressive stages of my healing journey it was easy to do and I adopted good habits instead like meditating like surrounding myself with loving people instead of the people that abused me it helped me let go of what was not working in my life and bring in the things that nurtured me and because I was being nurtured there was no need for addictions anymore. Lastly, number five, and there is a reason why I have presented 
these five ways in this particular order is because you will reach this stage. Meditation will help you allow your wounds to come to the surface to be healed and released. We had the addictions because the wounds were still active inside us. We hid at home not trying new things because the wounds and the mind programming were still active inside us. So after gaining confidence, learning to love yourself, letting go of addictions, we come to the point where it's safe to let those wounds come up to be cleared. Now, a word on that. Having the wounds inside us produces more pain, especially over a long period of time, than actually letting them come up, be expressed and released. It's like having an aching tooth that's infected. It hurts before it comes out. The pulling on it hurts as it comes out, but after it's gone, the pain reduces straight away and the body can begin to heal. It's the same with releasing emotional wounds. But I can promise you, you are safe now. It's safe to let those wounds come up and to feel that emotion. Right, it's raining now. I will keep going until it gets too loud because I really want to carry on as this thought is here. You are in a much stronger space now to be able to handle those emotions. At first, it's going to feel like a little bit of a flood once you take the lid off the pressure cooker. But each time you heal, each time you release an emotion, you will immediately feel the relief of that having been gone. And it won't take long before you're feeling really empowered and really light inside because you have released a vast deal of those emotions. And those emotions actually lock inside your body, inside muscles, inside your organs, and inside your energy field. So as you release them, it's important to love yourself afterwards. I had done a lot of healing a few years ago. I did another round about two years ago. And the other day, the abuser, the parent in my life, abused my child, who's an adult now, but my baby. And it brought up, it brought up an ugly, painful mess of black energy full of tendrils. What I did was, I have neighbours, so what I did was grabbed a handful of tissues. The tears were flowing. Oopsie, really can't do this right now. And I screamed and I screamed, silent screams. Hang on. Into those tissues. And it felt like this ugly black mess was just being forced out from my solar plexus where it had been sitting. The relief afterwards, even though I was still crying, the relief afterwards was huge. I called on Archangel Raphael to be with me through that release because I knew I needed help. And you can do that too. You have angelic help available to you. Your guides are with you all the time. I called in my help for that because I knew it was going to be a massive 
biggie. And, uh, and the wound that was left behind really felt like an open surgical wound. It wasn't painful so much, not like a real wound when I had a massive surgery in 2019, but it, it still felt that way a little bit. So I asked Archangel Raphael to do his thing. And what he does is he pours healing energy into us and he poured it, this beautiful green light, into that wound and it began to feel like a numbing solution had been placed in there. The next day the area still hurt. Now this is only two days ago and obviously I'm still healing that because I'm a little bit emotionally raw. But I'm okay, I'm back to who I am. I think I'm going to give you a number six way. Meditation helps us remember who we really are. We are powerful beings of light who came into this avatar of a body to have a life experience. When we meditate, we often have some form of a supernatural experience. We might see a light, a colour. I recall seeing a lot of violet light. Um, sometimes I was spoken to. Sometimes I got downloads of information. And this can happen to you. These things help us remember that we are these powerful spiritual beings. And we chose the experiences of our life for a reason. And when we go back home to our real home, we're going to look back on it and say, yeah, that worked out perfectly. And I learned this, that, the other thing from that experience. It helps us learn what we need to learn and it helps us make the changes in our life that we need to make to heal and get back and get into living the life that we intended when we came in. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for loving yourself enough to consider healing. So I look forward to seeing you and I will be waiting for you in the next video you come to watch. Bye for now.